All right, so, so far we have learned how to group up our data using the group by SQL clause. But sometimes you might be in a situation where you are working with really big table, where you have in one column many different values. In our example, we have only three values. It's just to make it simple. But in real world scenarios, you will have really a lot of values in one column and you will be first to use some like filters on the results. So in order now to filter the results that we have from the group by in SQL, we have one more new clause and that's called having. All right, since this is a new clause, we need to understand where we're gonna place the having clause, because as you know, SQL is sensitive about the order of those clauses. So we will have the having clause exactly after the group by. So once you define the group by, after that, you're gonna define the having clause. And it is as well an optional. Once you want to filter the aggregations functions, you could use the having clause. So with that, we have all the clauses about the select statements or the query. So it starts with select, from, joins, where, group by, having, and lastly, we have the order by and limit. Okay, so now in order to understand the having, we're going to have one task and we're going to try to solve it using SQL. The task says, find the total number of customers for each country, but include those countries that has more than one customer. So that means we have here like a condition to filter our data. So let's try to solve that using SQL. So as usual, we're going to start with querying our data. We're going to focus on the table customers over here. So now we need now to have the total number of customers by country. That means I need to do group by and use the aggregate function count. So like before, I'm going to use the keyword count star and rename it to look good at the result. So count or we call it total customers. And since we're going to group by by country, we have to include the country as a select. And after that, we are just going to like group by the country. So let's run this. We see at the result, we have now all the countries and we have the total number of customers. But our task is not solved yet because we still have a country where its total number of customers is not greater than one. So we need to filter this data. In order to do that with the group by, we're going to use the clause having. And think about it, it is like exactly like the where clause. We're going to write down one condition. So our condition says the total number of customers customers should be greater than one so the total number that's mean the count should be greater than one so we have defined our condition it's exactly like the where clause and let's run this and as you can see we don't have now the uk with the one customer we have now all the customers aggregated by the country and only the country that has more than one customer in the result. With that, we filtered our data and we have exactly what we want. All right, so now you might be wondering and you want to ask me, Bara, why do we have such a clause called having in SQL? We could just go and use the where clause because there we could filter our data. We could define exactly the same condition and we filter our data. Why SQL has one more function or clause that does exactly as where? So the answer for that is where you could use it only on the columns that exist in the database. For example, if I want to filter the country or I want to filter the score or last name, so any columns that I have in the database, I could filter it with the where. But once I want to filter the data based on a column that doesn't exist in the database, for example, the count star or the max min, so any aggregated function that we are using in the query, and we want to build up like a filter on top of such a function, then we cannot use the where we should use having. So having only works with the group by once we are doing aggregation 
we could define here a filter on top of it but the where clause works only on the columns that we have already exist in the database so that means if i have these results and i want to filter the data where i don't want to see the country usa at the results i should use the where clause so let's do that the where comes after the from so where our column is country not equal to usa so let's run this and with that you see okay we have filtered the data we don't have the usa as the result so if i want to filter the country i need to use the where clause if i want to filter the aggregate function or the group by I have to use the having. All right, guys. So with that, we have covered the having clause. And next, we're going to talk about the concept of subqueries in SQL, where we're going to cover exist and in and learn the differences between them. And in the video description, you will find a link to free SQL materials like the database and the data of this tutorial, the SQL sheet sheet, and as well, all the presentations. Thank you so much for watching. And I will see you in the next tutorial. Bye.